I get why you would be afraid of the violence that revolution can bring. But that violence is generally brought by the state, not by the revolutionaries. We communists are not trying to organize a coup, a military coup against the state. That's not how revolutions happen. And they're not quick because, like, you know, because of uh, they're using that tactic. They're appear maybe quick because of like what Lenin's pointing out, that there are decades where nothing happens and there are weeks where decades happen. Does the Communist Party USA advocate the violent overthrow of the American government? Don't all communists advocate violence? Answer. No, we do not. We support the fullest expression of the democratic will of the majority, advocating extending democratic control over the economic decisions which affect our lives. We believe that it is possible to create and build a fundamentally new economic system using the provisions of the existing U.S. Constitution, using peaceful means, and winning a majority. We are for peace for peaceful solutions to both international and intranational problems, and for a peaceful transition to socialism wherever possible. This has become ever more essential in the nuclear age. Any member shall be expelled from the party who is a strike breaker, a provocateur, engaged in espionage, an informer, or who advocates force and violence or terrorism, or who participates in the activities of any group which acts to undermine or overthrow any democratic institutions through which the majority of the American people can express their right to determine their destiny. On the other hand, Looking at the history of many revolutions, often the ruling classes uses violence to try to overcome the will of the majority. In such cases, we do support the right of armed self-defense against attacks by the ruling class or its agents. Many revolutions have been relatively peaceful, including the Russian Revolution of 1917 and the Vietnamese Revolution of 1945. The bloodshed comes when those formerly in power initiate a civil war or foreign armies invade, trying to reestablish capitalist, feudal, or colonial power. This was true in Russia where there was not only a civil war, there was an invasion by 14 countries, including the U.S., trying to topple the revolutionary government.